Well, hello, guys. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining the Pink Possibilities, where the possibilities are endless. So I want to thank each and every one of you that's joining us live and in person. And whether you're live or whether you're watching the replay, I want you to know that there are so many opportunities that lie before you. And today we have an amazing, amazing guest for you. But what I want you to understand, what we're going to do week to week, I want to give you a little synopsis of what we're doing. I'm going to share uh, someone, or I should say, one of my guests are going to share their story, their true story that they've achieved in this Mary Kay bubble that we like to call a bubble in our world with you. So week to week, all these stories are true. And I want to take a moment to share a little bit about this amazing woman that I'm about to speak, that's going to speak to you today. Danielle began her business in October of 2002. She worked full-time as a certified nurse assistant and home health aide. She started Mary Kay to supplement income to help pay her daughter Lexi's medical expenses. She was diagnosed at birth with a rare genetic syndrome called Turner's syndrome. Danielle had fun with her business aside from her job and family for the first five years, working on average two to three hours a week, always attending her events. She even became a red jacket along the way. This is a unique part of her story that she likes to mention for those women who are seeking hope. Danielle did this for the first six years without the support of her now husband, Zach. Her parents being successful entrepreneurs were her support system. In 2006, things changed where her youngest daughter, Cameron, was born, she knew eventually she wanted to be with home with her. Danielle in 2010 became the first one month normal in the Dunn National Area to do DIQ, which is director and qualifications and earned a car in one month. It's important to note that who, who, who entire year prior had had 20 car breakdowns in 10 months, over 6,000 in expenses. We've all been there, I know. Which, uh, which is why she chose to push fast to finish. She earned her first Chevy Malibu at the age of 24 with two little girls. Danielle has earned seven, seven cars, two being the beautiful, prestigious pink Cadillac. She's earned a Bahama Cruise, and she's been the part of Queen's Court of Sales four times, a double star achiever three times. Yeah. She had led her unit to the half a million dollar unit club. Because of the Mary Kay business, her little, a little four years ago, Danielle and Zach were able to build their custom dream home from the top to the bottom, wow, for their family. Something 20 years ago, next month, they could have never imagined that they would become a reality as teen parents. She wants every woman to know that she can rise above the labels and circumstances other placed, others placed on her to step into who she was created to be. She is married to her high school sweetheart, Zach, and her girls, Alex Alexi, 21, Cameron, 16, and a big, massive baby, Samson, and Delilah get the most love. Please help me welcome the amazing, the beautiful a sales director from Dover, Pennsylvania, Danielle Lunsford. Thank you so much, Danielle for being with me tonight on the first episode of The Pink Possibilities. Hey, hey, everyone. Good evening. Thanks for having me. It's so funny when you read those. It's like, wow. Okay, that's exciting. You're amazing. I mean, you blew me away. I'm sure you blew everybody else away, but I'm going to let you take it away. And I want you to just share whatever the Lord puts on your heart to share tonight. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Uni. It's so cool that she was sharing my accolades and y'all, she broke my record. Thank you for breaking my record. So um, 
It just means an interesting fun fact about both of our stories is we both are like take initiative kind of people, you know, like we, we can't sit on the information. So um, thank you for being here. And I always like to say, you know, we're in this virtual world. Um, it's, you know, 2023 and we get to hang out in our bathrooms and like build businesses. That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Um, I'm hiding from those big puppies. I have mastiffs. So they're like 150 pound dogs. They're like mini horses. So um, if you ever hear like toes outside the door, that's who they are. But um, I always say like, if you're watching this um, now, um, it's really cool. It's the end of our month. And it's so exciting because that means women are winning or maybe you're watching this two years from now. So, hey, um, but my name is Danielle Lunsford. And uh, really cool to hear your accolades. You know, I remember hearing women I looked up to, you know, 10 and 20 years ago, hearing their story. And it's so cool. You know, it's I, I equate it when my hearing my girls talk now to, um, you know, a celebrity or someone that they look up to, um, you know, in their world and just like how big they are to them, you know. And um, so I just want to share a story with you. Um Tonight, I was telling uni, you know, I kind of summarize my journey in three H's and it's, it's unique. It's, it's full of um, hardships, heartache, and hope um, because my mission in my business is really to inspire hope. So, um, but you know, what I love about my story is what I used to really not share about my story is that it is filled with a lot of hardships and heartache. So I have pictures cause I'm super visual. So, um, I hope you're excited. <laughs> so fun fact, um, part of my story is that my husband and I are high school sweethearts. So yes, this is a picture of us at prom. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Um, but I always tell people like we've been together a really, really long time. So what that means is when I started my Mary Kay business, I always like to share that my story that he wasn't supportive in the beginning. Well, because he, he didn't have the maturity to understand the business <laughs> um, because he came from parents that had a nine to five mentality. And that's totally cool. Um, it is different to be an entrepreneur, you know, like you have to be a self-starter and that is a different mindset. M myself. Now, the really cool thing about me is I'm a third generation entrepreneur. My grandfather was a dairy farmer. Um, my parents are um, really cool people in York, Pennsylvania. They own a concession business, very successful. And my other grandfather was a jewelry maker. So I saw people build things from the ground up. It was not unique to me to see people have high years, low years, hardships, setbacks. Um, it also was not unusual for me to see people talk about excellence, talk about go after what you want. I didn't label it that way when I started Mary Kay, but I want you to know I started Mary Kay because of this one right here. I don't know if you can see that. My, my blur thing is not working for me here. I might have to turn it off, but I'm going to turn it off. I'm in my bathroom. So we're just going to out myself. Okay. Was this one, she is now a whole 21 years old. Um, but a lot of people don't realize this, but most women right now have two to three extra streams of income. It just is what it is. Actually, yesterday I was listening to a podcast for consultants that are even listening. Did you know the average middle-class American right now, her car payment or his car payment is $717. That's crazy. Okay. But yesterday I was walking through the grocery store, chocolate milk. Okay. My grandfather was a dairy farmer. Like chocolate milk doesn't come from brown cows. <laughs> That's just a little fun fact. It was $6 and 23 cents. Holy cow. You know? So, um, I tell people everyone, add something that's a form of an extra stream of income in for different reasons. Some people do it for fun. They want an outlet for fun, right? Some people do it for extra money for the fun stuff because the bills need to take care of the serious stuff. But some people like don't have any extra money for the, the fun stuff. They can't do the fun stuff because they have more serious stuff to take care of. And that was my story. So um, when we had Lex, uh, she was born with a rare genetic syndrome. And we had to take her to six different specialists. And um, I don't know about you, if you've ever been plagued with any health stuff, but co-pays back in the day, 20 years ago, um, were $50 a pop. And when you're like 19 years old, that's a lot of money when you see five of them in a row. So it was truly the difference between the light staying on and the light staying off. I'm very honest about my journey. I tell people that um, because I want you to know that... Um, where there's a will, there's a way. 
So I tell people, aside from my full-time job, um, being a CNA, and um, yes, he's really handsome, but he remember he was not supportive. <laughs> um, I worked Mary Kay about one or two nights a week. And um, I did it to take care of her co-pays. You know, I did it to be able to take care of her medication. And here's what happened. I, I have some pictures to show you. Um, you know, I learned from these kind of people, you know, that it doesn't have to be perfect. This is my grandpa. And then it's kind of crazy. My aunt that really inspired me to go for it um, and earn my first car um, was, um, I, she lost her battle to cancer, but it's really cool because she's the one that believed in me the most when no one else did. It's so cool how it comes full circle in life. But um, another thing that I wanted to share with you as a part of like being a part of the business is your confidence. How many of you would love to have 10 times more confidence? Like how many of you have noticed throughout your life, like you are who the people you hang around? Well, when you like start a business after high school, you probably are usually like the people that you are in high school. <laughs> so um, what I noticed when I was hanging around Mary Kay women, I was dressing different. I was carrying myself different. You see, because when you are raising a child that has different um, medical complexities, you lose yourself, right? It's child first, parent last, you know, and all the things. And I found when I was getting dressed up to go to Mary Kay things, I was getting compliments. I was carrying myself differently. So I started feeling more confident. And when a woman in her home feels more confident, the family feels that. So I started feeling more confident. Um, and here's a cool thing. If you're watching this and you're like, yeah, I don't wear makeup. I don't wash my face. Cool. I didn't either. I washed my face the same day I became an entrepreneur. <laughs> um, I learned that you shouldn't look like a vampire or Snooki um, with foundation on the day I joined Mary Kay. So it's cool. Um, you can be taught. Um, uh, but the really cool thing is I got to like have fun and get recognition. So, um, how many of you get recognition at your job? I know that's a really like very simple question, but what I'm finding over and over and over, especially after the last two years is, um, one of my consultants on my team, um, she works in HR and she said the number one reason people are leaving jobs right now is they're not being recognized for the hard work and, um, the, like, you know, the mental that they're putting in at their job, they're leaving because of job dissatisfaction. They're not leaving because they want to leave. They're basically leaving because of lack of recognition. And Mary Kay does that so well. So you can imagine being a mama that was like, how do I compartmentalize all this health stuff with my child? At 19, building a business, you know, 2021. And then someone started to clap for me when I did good stuff and told me I was awesome. Oh my gosh, you know what I mean? Like I started to blossom. So then, a really cool thing. Okay, we did things a little bit backwards. Okay. So then we had another little one. Um, and the cool thing was Mary Kay allowed me, it's so crazy. She's going to be 17. Um, so Mary Kay allowed me to pay for like preschool. Preschool is actually really expensive. And by this time I went from working full time um, to staying home. Well, that takes away a whole income. And that was because it was expensive to have two kids in daycare. But the whole entire time I was building my business. I was gaining more customers because guess what? Girls get older every day and they wash their face. If you don't know, it's called an activity of daily living. Everyone washes their face and takes it off. Um, so, you know, what would it be like if you could put your kids in extra things because you had 50 or a hundred bucks, you know what I mean? Like you had some extra money, you know, what would it be like? I look at these pictures now and I'm telling you, I like cried for Debbie can tell you she like, like sleeps with me when we go to events, like in bed, like we like each other that much. Like I like cried for five days when I had to let her drive herself to school. Th that just happened um, because the season of life changed, you know? Um, but to be able to like afford those things and to have never missed a an event at school, like I would do it over again. It's so cool. Um, and then to be able to pay for extra things for our wedding, you know, I was able to be able to contribute. Like when the parents said no, Mary Kay said yes. So, you know, do you have the flexibility to say, my job might not be able to do that, but I can work a little bit with my extra streams of income. So I love that. Um, cheerleading. I don't know if you know anything about competition cheerleading. It's very, very expensive. I was a cheerleader. So you better believe I was like, yes, we'll do it. Um, but the hotels, the uniforms, all the things. Um, so, you know, do you have a goal that sets you on fire? Does your family have a goal? Do you do things together? Um, this was something that lit a fire underneath me. Did you know that the last time that people actually set goals, they say have statistically been studied was like in high school and or college. 
That's kind of crazy, um, really, unless they're an entrepreneur. So um, fast forward a couple of years, I was playing with my business, um, building my business, all the things, and then some life hit. Yes, you heard that. We had a couple car breakdowns. Um, this was one of them. Actually, my husband's car was the really troublesome one. So I was building my business and the cars hit. Have you ever had an unreliable car? Yeah, it's not fun. So um, I tell people it was like being shackled to chains. It would break down. We'd pay the bill. It would break down again. But I could go create um, that business and that income. And the really cool thing is we have a company that when you do the work, they will reward you um, with a car every two years. And I don't know if you know, but based on some qualifications, talk to your consultant about that. Um, they paid my tax tags, title, inspection, emission, and 85% of my car insurance. I mean, the amount of money that we've saved. Here's my girls when we picked it up. <laughs> my husband says it's his favorite car. Um, but to be able to put that money into medical bills throughout the years has been the coolest thing. This was our second one. And then um, my husband was able to buy this in cash after he had a car accident because he now like has epilepsy and stuff. That was one of our hardships we went through um, in the last couple of years. So, you know, I don't, a lot of people don't think about this. Did you know that the greatest debt in your whole entire life is not your house? It's actually cars. Yeah. Like, um, because they depreciate. Um, so I tell people, sit down and figure out what your car insurance and like your car payments cost you in a year. And like, what if, what if you did something on average, you know, a, a couple hours a week um, consistently with someone mentoring you and you got really good at it. And you could drive, you know, a brand new car. I'm waiting eagerly to pick mine up it's so crazy. I remember when I had black smoke coming out of my like tailpipe. And I remember the one time my consultant calling me and my car was bucking being like, Danielle, is your car good? And I was so embarrassed. And I was like, it's absolutely okay. Don't worry about me. And then my brakes locked up going down reservoir Hill. Cause it's embarrassing when you're in a struggle and you're in a continual struggle. And, um, that's why I'm so empathetic when I see people break down in pool where I'm like, are you okay? Um, but it is so freeing to not let finances be the thing that holds you like to like a bondage. Um, but this is where I get really passionate. Um, I tell people, how are you planning for that thing that you may not see? Because gosh, what is it? Six years ago now in October, um, my daughter started to get like all these bruises on her legs and she was cheering and we didn't know what happened. And long story short, we ended up in the hospital, hospitalized for over 10 days. She was diagnosed with Crohn's disease and um, we went on a journey and um, she not only kept me busy and, um, you know, had a lot of setbacks, a lot of setbacks home from school, homeschooled. I went from working my business to working my business from home, being her caregiver first. My business went second. That's a really cool thing, prioritizing my business. But all the work that I did, you know, supported our family. Um, and uh, I was able to take care of her. And then 10 months later, my husband started having seizures, 37 of them to be exact. And I tell people in that year and a half, I worked my business more in doctors and hospitals than I did actually in people's homes. So if you didn't know, we can work this business virtually work. We can work it in person. Like tomorrow I'm going to go to the gym with my husband. I'm going to come home, do the female stuff. And then I'm going to hop on a virtual like, and be professional from the belly up, you know, and have like, I probably my yoga pants on and we're going to have a great time and, um, serve her really well and treat her to some great products. Um, but I get to choose how I want to work. And so it's been really cool. And yes, I did get to go on the Bahama cruise. I met one of my best friends in the whole entire world on the streets of new Orleans, like eight years ago, had, I would have never met her before Mary Kay. I've earned some diamonds. That's really fun. Um, but Mary Kay did that for the work that we do, not just because, um, so, and then this is like updated pictures of my family. So, um, 20 years later, I just got asked this question. The really cool thing, like when you stick something out. So I would ask you that, have you ever really stuck something out? And when I say stick something out, I think in today's world, um, the loyalty, you know what I mean, needs to come back. Like I'm so passionate about loyalty coming back and consistency. 
uh, I say to people like, what would happen if you stuck it out, like really stuck it out and you gave it a consistent, you know, two years, whether that's two hours a week, um, but what would happen? You know, what would your confidence look like? What would your finances look like? Cause y'all this product sells itself. I went live in my customer group yesterday and I was talking to them about products and my customer popped over to my house and she's like, Oh my gosh, can I try that stuff that you did on your live? She's so cute. Um, women want to be loved on. They want to be seen. They want to be heard and they want to be helped. And we get to do that. Um, but what if you stuck it out and you had something like this on the side? It's, 30 bucks or it's 130. Um, you decide, talk to your consultant about options, you know, or however much it is when you're watching this video. Um, but this is what I tell people. Um, the one person I saw from school, they're like, you're still doing that Mary Kay thing. I love when they say that to me because they don't mean it the way it sounds. And I was like, absolutely. Um, and they're like, well, what, what do you feel like has happened when you stuck it out? And I was like, well, I can tell you because of the women I'm surrounded by, it's the only reason I'm still married <laughs> um, because it raises your level of excellence. Um, you got to see how women live their priorities out. I actually met a woman six years ago, and this is a crazy story. It's like a hope story, but it might have a little sadness. Um, she actually was very, very sick with Crohn's disease. She was a sales director in Mary Kay. When she saw my post on social media, as soon as she saw Lexi was sick, she reached out to me. She said, you call me anytime you need me. I'll talk to her anytime she needs encouragement. She didn't know me from Adam. She just knew me through a friend socially. Um, she helped Lexi many a times with her eating plan. And that's just how the Mary Kay sisterhood is. And she just recently lost her journey. Um, just she was very a lot sicker than Lexi was through some setbacks and stuff. But I think to myself, like, oh my gosh, like a sisterhood, like never before she actually connected me with some um, doctors. Um, and then just, I, I tell people like a deserve level, like no other, you know, I tell people our parents raise us one way. We decide to live another way. You know, my mom did the best she could with what she had, um, but she was a, a divorced parent, you know, doing the best she could working full time, um, trying to figure it out as a single mom. And I just didn't see how to, you know, take care of myself first. And then when I had Lex, I didn't know how to put myself first. You know what I mean? And Mary Kay allowed me to grow into that because we get to see women show us how to do that. So the really cool thing is being able to model that for my girls. Um, that they know that they can have their cake and eat it too, um, that they can absolutely pursue something other than college if they want, because it's okay to do something other than the square box, you know what I mean? And if they want to do that too, that's cool. Um, but because they've watched me go after something that's different, right? They don't have to be afraid of it. Um, and it's okay to fall. It's okay to get back up and try it again. And it still doesn't work. Um, and it's okay to have friends that aren't like you and don't look like you and don't dress like you. Um, and the cool thing is it's allowed Zach to um, be proud of something that's different than everyone else. And he loves Mary Kay now for those of you that are probably wondering. <laughs> um, he was actually trying to do a live the other day with me. I was like, no, you are, you're too excited when we do those. Um, but you know, it's just so cool because like we were team parents and you know, the statistics on that. Um, and I know for certain it's the Mary Kay culture, you know, the products are one thing, the culture, um, and the sisterhood is, is the icing on the cake. Um, so I said, why I stick it out, you know, is the culture and the people that I get to be surrounded by, um, and what it does as a ripple effect inspires hope inside my whole entire family. And that can change a generation. Um, so if you have questions, what your next step should definitely look like is talking to your consultant. So this is what I always leave people with. I want to know what is something I shared in my story um, that surprised you and what's something um, I always say to people that hypothetically, if you were to do this and you knew, okay, it's not hard, put this on, take this off. How's that feel? Right. Cause you already know that you either like the products or you don't um, and you probably do, or you wouldn't be here. Um, what's, what's something a year from now that you would love to say that has changed in your life? Would it be finances, confidence, you know what I mean? Would it just be like, I'd love to be able to actually say I'm going on a vacation. I'm not still saving for one. Like what would life look like a year from now? Like, what would you like to say that look like? So, um, but thank you so much for letting me share my story. I just always tell people, you know, it's okay to have some hardships and heartache, but there's always hope. You always want to inspire hope. So thank you. Danielle, you're amazing. 
I loved you from the moment I met you and just hearing this story. I don't believe I've ever heard your story and reading it brought just brought tears of joy to know the woman that you've become to be. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for saying yes to being the first on the first episode of the pink possibilities. And you are just an amazing woman of God that God has placed in my life. And I'm so blessed to know you and call you friend. And I'm so looking to growing more with you. And I want to thank each and every person that joined us live, whether you joined us live or you're watching the replay. Know that whether you're looking for fun, freedom, flexibility, always remember that when it comes to Mary Kay, the pink possibilities are endless.